welcome this is the energy vibration um reading for the month of june for you gemini's let's see what's happening for you gemini's your birthday wow you gemini's you are in the zodiac energy of your home birthday happy birthdays to you gemini's Alrighty, please like share these videos and remember to subscribe subscribe you gemini's just subscribe okay this is good as you subscribe you will know be notified please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign you gemini's we're calling in the angels of the gemini's guiding angels who are protecting the gemini's to come in to see what's happening this month is a month of earth energy this is good because it's balanced so if even there's no energy supporting you in this uh, month you gemini's there is going to be a lot of balancing coming in for you this month has four weeks let's see what's coming up for you gemini's um you have the energy of your own energy vibration the first week is going to be a very good because you're turning your back and walking away from something you are moving forward in a new start you could be leaving a relationship you could be leaving a work you could be transferring to somewhere else you could be traveling but you're taking the move to move forward in your life and this is going to be very good there's no obstacles there's only positive energy that is pushing you forward so this is really good in the second week for you Gemini so we have the energy of the magician your own energy vibration that is coming out so the first and second week for you Gemini so are going to be very good in the month of June whatever is happening something is about to open up for you it's as if you have everything that you need and you are opening up a, a, a new door for you and this is going to be good so very positive energies um, that is coming in for you Gemini's in the first and second week it is your weeks the first and second week what's coming in, in the third week for the Gemini's we have the energy of the um, a judgment call that is coming in so some of you could be receiving information there could be breakthroughs there could be situation a resolution of a situation that has been happening definitely some of you are going to be having the tools to make this happen some of you could be receiving some messages in the third week but we're going to be looking at that and see where this is coming from whatever the situation is in the third week definitely expect to find out something that you weren't aware of in the fourth week and last week we have the energy of the hangman so the two first week for you Gemini's are definitely going to be the best week and um, the better energies for you in this month so the first week and the second week it is the zodiac energy of your home birthday and in the third week it changes so you have two water energies that you have to deal with you are dealing with the energy of uh, judgment and this is a Pisces energy and you're dealing with the hangman energy so it's a lot of you are going to be dealing with Pisces in this um, month of June especially in the two last week so it is the month of balance whatever is transpiring in the lives of you Gemini's is definitely going to be a month of balancing remember that this video as an extended deal you can always use the link below to check out the extended deal and again um, if you have a, um, a PayPal email address you can all the reading and it's just a dollar ninety nine with this um, uh, email address catacon.com and uh, it's just a dollar ninety nine. You receive the extended deal, which is going to tell you more about love and more about what is transpiring and who to look out for, what to do. Okay. So in the first week, going in the second week, your two most beautiful weeks, because you have hair and water. So air and water is, is as if you guys are going to be making some change. So let's see what's coming up for the Gemini between the first week and the second week you have your your protected whatever is transpiring if you decide to go on a new journey if you're traveling you are protected there is nothing whatever um is coming up but you can work this out whatever issues that is going to be coming up for you gemini's you can definitely definitely work this out you are standing your ground and you understand that you're spiritually protected and you're ready for anything that is about to happen to you and this is going to be good so whoever decide to um, start something new change make changes and I'm seeing these changes are happening where people are trying are going to be deciding to move somewhere buy a new house and that sort of a thing 
um, whatever the groundbreaking that you are about to do you're going to be having all the tools uh, to take you through this groundbreaking in the second week going in the third week you have the ten of swords so um, you're going to be finding out about someone who stabs you in the back okay are definitely going to be finding out about someone who stabs you in the back you're going to be finding out that someone as um, accuse you or someone has done something inevitable to stab you in the back so this is the energy and it could be also the energy that you're in your own thoughts you or your own, your worst enemy so be aware of this but it is as if some of you are going to be finding out that someone stabbed you in the back someone very close to you the full third week going in the fourth week you have the energy of news coming in whatever news that is coming in is going to bring light to a situation so these two last week especially for you gemini's is going to be bringing light to a situation you're going to be finding out something about a cancer a pisces or a scorpion and whatever this news is that is coming you're going to be knowing who stabbed you in the back now um some of you are dealing with kids and some information is going to be coming out about your kid um, whatever this information that is coming out about your kid definitely you are going to be seeing the truth of the situation as we look in the second week you're dealing with your own energy vibration which is the best week for you guys the energy of uh, and whatever you plan to do in this month the first week and second week is the best week second week with the energy of the Gemini it's going to be uh, um, the energy of uh, um, the magician is going to be giving you the tools to move on it is as if it's going to be coming in and showing you and giving you the tools if you need money if you need help if whatever you need in the second week to move away from a situation or person or a thing you are going to be having the money and whatever help and whatever you need to move on and leave the situation which the situation was a devastated situation because whatever a strength power um you guys are going to be receiving help to move away from the situation because you guys decided i'm handing this i no longer want to and you are going to be receiving help to move forward in the third week you have the energy of the eight of wands um which is news and information because it's judgment yeah eight of wands so a lot of information is coming to you very fast it's like unexpected information information is coming to you information that you wasn't being aware of is coming to you and it's coming in very fast so expect that because you are dealing with the energy of judgment also so judgment is breakthroughs information coming at you in this third week so be aware and align um, whoever um, you're going to be finding out someone stabbed you in the back and whoever stabbed you in the back you Gemini's it is a young person that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so you Gemini's are going to be stabbed is, is being stabbed in the back um, it's gonna be happening I, I you know it can be for different times of the month but you're going to be finding out that the person who stabbed you in the back is an um, it's a young person that you work with or it could be your child it could be a nephew a niece or a nephew but for the people who works and it happens on the work floor is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it's more the energy um, lies and deception this child is really sick so you Gemini be aware of this you're gonna be finding out that that is the person that has done it to you because a lot of people are going to be letting you know that that is the person that has done it to you okay so as we move for forward um, you guys are definitely moving forward and the outcomes for the month um, for the Gemini's the outcomes for the month for the Gemini's um, what is the outcomes for the month of June for the Gemini's is love is coming in so some of you this is definitely a situation with kids some of you are going to be finding out something about another kid and the younger kid could be telling you what a transpire 
or telling you something that you weren't aware of one of your kids but the young kid the baby of the family is going to be telling you this it could be a grandchild that is also telling you this but someone a young person is going to be telling you what has transpired now a lot of love is going to be coming to some of you Gemini so some of you Gemini's who were stabbed in the back and that sort of a thing there is going to be new love coming in because people are going to be seeing what is, has happened and what has transpired some of you um, could be um, going on a trip and um, you're going to be receiving news from your kids or grandkids and saying hey when are you coming home that sort of a thing definitely this month is a situation that has to do with family whatever is transpiring is definitely a issues that is coming up with family or people from past life these could be people work situations or people who you study with people who you spend most of your time with okay so be aware of the situation um, because I'm seeing an energy and some of you um, there's a young person at your work that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius they're definitely going to be stabbing you in your back okay it could um, affect you that uh, um, maybe you were on vacation you came back and you're getting, receiving all this news from this person um, um, and, and from other people saying that this young person has done you some injustice now as we look at the first week there is definitely a new start whatever this new start is the nine of ones is here that is going to be helping you um, there's going to be you're going to be having everything to m make this new start because I'm seeing you um, going on a new a journey I'm seeing some of you Gemini is going on a new journey and definitely you have already decided to go on this journey and whatever is transpire you're going to be happy that you decide to make this move okay you're definitely going to be happy that you decided to, to make this move and, and if you are deciding to travel to change jobs to but this is more of something you're traveling and you're spiritually protected is as if the angels of protection is here so if you're going on a trip definitely um, you are being protected as we look at the second week the second week you have the energy of the magician which is good um, you're protected but you are in that second week and so it says some of you are going on vacation but at work or at home you, someone is stabbing you in the back someone is and we're going to be looking at that to see who has done that um in the uh, third week there is going to be some judgment call because this is if you came back to work and you're hearing all of these situation and information is coming at you and people are telling you what has transpired and what has taken place when you were there definitely some of you are going on um vacation or that sort of a thing you can see this and you're fast it's going to be a fast paced week as it comes to the so second week going in the third week is going to be a fast paced week now oopsie daisy something came out some of you are going to be seeing the truth of a situation the truth is coming out definitely the truth is coming out it could be the truth about your child the truth of a situation but whatever it is in this month you Gemini's are going to be finding out the truth of a situation this is the outcome and some of you you if you're you were you started a relationship with someone if you had started a relationship with someone you're going to be finding out the truth about this person let's see what is going on with the full the nine of wands and the magician again so obviously your angels and guides are here so some of you are definitely going to be connecting with a twin flame and a soulmate some of you are definitely going to be deciding to take this offer up um, some of you were um, in the month before or maybe before had known this person and then um, in the beginning of the month the person is going to say why don't we just move in together or why don't we just get married or why don't we um, live together um, this is definitely going to be happening um, it's it's going to be good in relationship for you Gemini's okay relationship wise is going to be good some of you could be um, going on a vacation together um, trying 
um, to uh, you know connect with someone so this is going to be good it's definitely twin flame and soulmate the two first week is very good um, especially if you're married you both could be connecting and going on a vacation or reconnecting um, you know sometimes you take times off from your relationship but this is going to be positive the magician the ten of swords and judgment um, definitely as I said the eye princess listen to your intuition listen to your intuition because some information is going to be coming out and um, this information um, someone is going to be telling you who um, try to stab you in the back or who stabbed you in the back because this information is definitely coming out um, and um, you have a feelings who has done it but it's as if the eye princess or um, in a dream some of you are just gonna dream and see exactly what happened and know exactly what has transpired okay um, some of you listen to your intuition about the person you're in a relationship with and they're saying yes it's a go ahead go for it the energy with um, judgment is going to be coming up and uh, this is definitely a situation at work where in the third week going in the fourth week there is a breakthrough and you're going to be finding out that someone an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this is a young person um, has say something or has done something okay this is going to come out I'm, I'm not seeing that you're going to be losing your work or something like this but it's as if they went to management okay so you need to be aware of this but um it's as if you weren't there and they they went to management so you have to be aware but whatever they did or say it's as if it, it, you you know they stabbed you in the back could be something that you said or you have done now for some of you you're going to be receiving information from your kids school um, and whatever this information is you're going to be seen somehow some of you thought that your kid was either dyslexia or something like that or there was a special need with your kid and you're going to be receiving this information from the school the nine of ones with the six of swords is here and the ten of swords your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true after a very long waited moment your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true some of you could have been dealing with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius at your work this person is very young this person is between the ages of 18 and 21 and you were dealing with this person at work and whatever has transpired between you and this person your wishes and dreams are going to come through in relationship if you decide to change your life and choose a new relationship it is the relationship you need to be in and this is the person who were meant for you so be aware of this the ten of swords the eight of wands and the page of wands let's see who stab you in your back okay so obviously it's someone who you are in line with or at work because this has to do with work situations okay um and there is the energy of uh, the boss and a young person went to the boss um to speak about you okay and you're now the truth is going to be coming out it's as if this month is a resolution but there is nothing that is going to be happening you just have to learn and understand that this person is not a friend this person is an enemy okay whoever this young person is you had your about this person and then you started getting close to this person and this person just waited until you weren't there this is a work situation in general it's going to be a very wonderful month for the lovers for the the people who are in relationship long-term relationship this is going to be the two first weeks it's going to be very very positive as you move into the third week going into the fourth week there are situation that is going to be coming up wonderful news with um, you and someone who you're going to be getting close to with 
at work there is some news that is going to be coming in and some judgment call about your project or something that you're working on listen to your intuition whatever is happening okay listen to your intuition but there is it's, it's nothing to worry about your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true okay so there is nothing as if you're going to be losing your work um, I think the situation is that these people whoever or there's a transition that is coming in but you need to know that you have enemies um, that is out there and this is what this time period is basically saying to you is that be aware of unlikely enemies that mean people who you think are friends but are not really friends there's definitely situations that is coming out with kids a lot of you are going to be receiving information about kids and that sort of a thing there's definitely definitely some of you your grandkids are going to be calling you and want to reconnect and that sort of a thing new love is definitely coming in there is no question there's going to be a lot of text messages in the last week and that sort of a thing for new love coming in so this is going to be really really positive and really good whatever is happening I'm seeing that some of you your wishes and dreams over relationship is going to be working out in your best interest and relationship wise is good work wise there is obstacles because you have hidden enemies and some of you are connecting with a past life people and there are hidden enemies so you need to be aware of this okay you are dealing with past life people and they are hidden enemies so be aware of who these hidden enemies are okay some of you your hidden enemies could be a Pisces cancer or a scorpion some of you if you are a man your hidden enemies is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so if you're a man your hidden enemies is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion for the rest of you there are different people who are alerting behind her so you need to be aware of this let's look and see what is coming out I'm using the first deck and you need I'm going to show you two cards you need to choose one of the cards okay this deck is the Buddha wisdom and the first card that I have is Kuba and it's um, platoon of the hearts creative of abundancy be a creator of abundancy so this is wonderful for you um, Gemini so if you choose this card and ladies and gentlemen you have to choose one card because this is going to be the energy that is guiding you in this month of June remember this is an extended reading check out the extended reading by using the link below if you choose this card it is a month to create your abundancy you know what is best for you and how to create your abundancy so please do that if you choose the second card it is Kali and sound stand firm to cut through tensions doubt and fear stand firm to cut through tensions doubt and fear so this is the reason why I said to people you can't choose both cards you have to choose one card because that is where you're receiving this energy and it has to do with a chakra so it's like healing the chakras where you're going to be saying I am taking back my power from other people so whoever you had aligned yourself with and whoever that was here you're going to be realizing hey I'm taking back my energy I am going to be taking back my energy so that no one can friend me and then stab me in my back because basically that is what the person did number six energies is one of your energy vibration the energy of number six is one of your energy vibration that is coming up so be aware there's a lot of love and some of you are going to be seeing and realizing something about a child if it's not a child it's someone who you have to work with uh, but you're going to be seeing a uh, definitely um, seeing situation about this I have two cards again you have to choose one of these cards okay then um the first card is the number three energy this is good because this is um, connecting with the body mind and spirit almost spirit and it said set healthy boundaries 
do not let people walk over you you need to start setting empty boundaries you need to let people know where and how far they can go with you healthy boundaries is going to be um, the situation in this bond because a lot of you need to learn healthy boundaries or teach others um, your boundaries number three is going to be three and six is going to play a significant role in your life as we look at the second card it's number four and it's the bagged spirit and it said be fearless and bold you Gemini's be fearless and bold whatever is going on you stand out you be fearless and bold and you go on and take your reign back you Gemini's take your reign back I love the bucket spirit so you can call upon these animal spirit guides to help you to take back the to be fearless and go bold or you can Oh, whichever card because three and four whichever cards that you choose set healthy boundaries some of you need to set healthy boundaries so whatever card you choose that is what you're going to be working on okay now we have the same two from the ascendance deck and the first one is five and one is six another six energy and it says water I love you I bless you I thank you I direct you to spread love around the planet okay and this is a wonderful card to receive because a lot of people don't drink a lot of water but water is healing water permits everything including the cell um, of your body it created pure divine love and special qualities that can assist ascension Perdon is the changes of water. Neptune is its element master and direct the underlining. Ask them to cleanse emotion, um, emotional basis, illusion, and relationship difficulties. Your guidance is to bless water everywhere to bring it into your fifth dimension. Ask Perdon to link you to the music of the atmosphere surrounds it by the perfect divine blueprint and start to resonate with it okay so um, this is wonderful and this is beautiful as you choose the second card is their mythic skull um, some people got this last year and it's I explore all of the information before taking decision so whatever is coming up for you who have choose this card you need to explore all the information before you make a decision okay so do not jump and hastily make decision you need to explore all the information before you make a decision ladies and gentlemen damas and here um, it wins you a zero zero positive alignment for energy in this amount. Not forget um to daily this video um and cut even up soak na the zero positive energies. Daily this videos and what you cut even done is oak subscribe and last na the extended lesson van daar kom heel veel informatie daarin. Dames en heren, namaste tot volgende keer.